So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to calculate the basics of half-life. So how much is remaining after a certain amount of time has eclipsed. So the equation we're going to use is the basic half-life equation. It says that a is equal to a sub 0 uh, times 1 half raised to the t divided by h power. Let's make sure we identify what these are. A is the final amount. A sub 0 is the initial amount. One half is the split factor. The split factor just tells us that after a half-life, basically one of something has become half of it. So T up top represents time, and H represents the half-life. So when we read our question, it's important that we identify these variables so that we can just plug into our equation and solve. So let's go ahead and do that. It says the half-life of radon 222 is 3.8 days. So we know that 3.8 is going to be our H variable. How much of a 100 gram sample is left after 15.2 days? So 100 gram sample is our initial amount. We're solving for our final amount after 15.2 days. So let's plug in our numbers. We have A, I'm sorry, we're solving for A. We have A sub zero. A sub zero is 100 grams times one half of the total time. The total time it said was 15.2 days divided by 3.8 days. So let's go ahead and take care of our exponent and do that division. So 15.2 divided by 3.8 is going to be 4. So it's 1 half raised to the 4th power. So we're going to go ahead and raise 1 half to the 4th power. So if you do that, you would just do a half times a half times a half times a half. Uh, 4 halves is going to be the same thing as 1 16th. And then you're going to do 100 divided by 16. 100 divided by 16. And you're going to get a final answer of 6.25 grams of radon 222 remains. All right. So remember, it's all about using your equation to your benefit. Identify the variables, plug them in, and just solve for the missing one. I'm going to create a video on solving for the initial amount, solving for the time, and solving for the half-life as well in future uh, videos.